everyone. Lauren and Russell Mark here on behalf of the Sporting Shooters Association of Australia. One of the most daunting tasks you may face when you decide to take up shotgun shooting is what type of firearm is best for you. There is a huge variety to choose from, so today we want to help you decide what to look for and what to avoid. There's no such thing as the perfect all-round shotgun, but there are certainly some that are better than others. Most SSSAA members are looking for versatility in their shotguns. By that, I mean they'll want to use their firearm for more than one purpose. So there are certain features available that you should try and look for to increase your shotgun's all-round performance. For instance, if you were going to buy a shotgun just for specifically one event, like this shotgun here that was made for Olympic Trap, I'd be telling you to buy a firearm with a 75 centimeter barrel, a high trap stock, improved modified choke in the bottom barrel and a full choke in the top. But will this shotgun be suitable to take quail shooting next weekend? Well, it would, it would certainly hurt quail, but it's far from perfect. One of the attributes of a great multi-purpose shotgun are the chokes. The choke determines how fast the shotgun will spread the shot from the moment it leaves the barrel. If you are looking to shoot trap one day and quail the next, as Russell just described, then try and purchase a shotgun that has these interchangeable chokes that'll give you effective downrange variants from 20 to 40 meters and beyond. One choke does not suit every scenario. I mentioned about some shotguns having higher stocks. For certain situations, a higher stock will be a massive advantage, such as those made for trap shooting. But in the field or even at sporting clays, if you have a stock that is too high, you'll most likely shoot over the top of your target. That's where these adjustable stocks come of age. They can be moved up or down to change where the shotgun shoots or even left or right to correctly position your eye down the center of the barrel. The butt of the stock needs to have a decent quality recoil pad fitted to it, otherwise you're a big chance to suffer some discomfort from the recoil of the shotgun. Hard here means hard here. By far the best all round shape is a simple straight pad. Sharply curved pads may feel better when you finally get the shotgun into your shoulder, but getting the gun mounted will become more difficult, especially when a quick shot is required. Recoil pads come in a variety of sizes, starting from around 10 millimeters up to about 30. Fitting the right size should help you obtain the right length of pull for your body size. Shotguns come in a variety of barrel sizes, but what's the right length for you? Generally speaking, the most common and versatile barrel length in shotgun shooting is 76 centimeters or 30 inches. It wasn't that long ago that the most popular barrel length for field shotguns was 28 inches. Nowadays, there's a trend for sporting clay shooters to go up to 32 inch barrels. The market trend has slowly pushed barrel lengths longer over the years, mainly due to lighter, better quality steel, therefore allowing the shotgun to remain perfectly balanced despite the longer weight tubes. For the most part, bigger people handle longer barrels better, but it all comes down to control, strength and pointability. And this is why bigger is not always better when we are talking barrels and too short can be just as bad. That's why the 30 inch barrel has become the popular all around length of choice. And finally balance. Try to get a shotgun no matter what amount of money you're spending that is balanced. The balance point is here over the hinge pin. Remember Sir Isaac Newton's third law of motion and recoil. If the shotgun is too light, then it will kick you more. Lighter shotguns feel better until you fired a couple of hundred rounds through them. If you're of a light body frame and you just can't handle a heavy shotgun, then be prepared to use lighter shot weight and slower velocity ammunition or you'll be punished in your shoulder and face accordingly. If you absolutely can't hold the weight of a 12 gauge shotgun and feel you need to use a lighter 20 or even 28 gauge, don't make the mistake of trying to compensate by using heavier shot shells as the resulting recoil will offset the benefits of the lighter gun. And remember, smaller gauges ultimately means less effectiveness downrange. You can't have one without the other, but that's a topic for another day. We hope this little video helps and on behalf of the SSAA, we look forward to seeing you at one of our ranges really soon.